and we're back for part two. And the time it's taken me to make a cup of coffee, if you can angle into the pot, see it's starting to come very clear. You can see the grain on the. What we want to do is just keep stirring that until it comes uh, gin clear, um, and that stops the oxalic separating out of the glycerol as it's um, when it's in the hive. Being oxalic and both the oxalic and the glycerol is hydroscopic, they will absorb moisture from the hive. So it does stay liquidy in the strips for as long as it takes for the bees to remove it. I should have said that in part one. What happens with these strips is the bees chew on them and they remove them from the hive. Uh, so we put four strips in per brew box. The centre one will get ripped out in about two to three weeks, depending on the time of year. And the outside ones are fine. So as I'm doing my hive inspections through, I will sometimes put a new one in the middle. And also as I'm going through, I run double brew boxes. So I'm taking the brew, the drone brood off the, between the frames and the boxes and checking for varroa mite as I'm going. And as we can see now that has come rather clear. The fact you can see the scratches in the bottom of the pot. Like I said earlier on, you really, really, really would get in trouble with mum if you let this boil. So it's not actually that hot, it will just slowly heat it enough to dissolve the oxalic into the liquid. The other thing I should say with the from part one was the overboard. The other stuff that I mentioned that had uh, sawdust in it, that comes in long lengths and you just divide it into three equal lengths. So you can use that with a drop saw so you don't have to um, cut these. This comes in a big roll. We have to cut it to length um, in a roll and then we cut it in a guillotine, which we might, if people are interested, show another video of. So now while it's nice and warm, don't lick the spoon. What I've made here is enough to treat just over 70 hives. And if there's any liquid that's not taken up by the strips overnight, which I've sort of worked out, I omitted it now where I don't actually have any excess liquid. can be taught, poured out and used at another time. What I'll do is I'll let that soak for a wee bit and then I'll flip it upside down. I've got a slid here's a leak proof. Lucky it's on mum's good wooden bench. The salic is a, uh, used as a decking cleaner. So <laughs> she'll have a nice clean little patches. So this is what we do. Um, We've been treating our hives this way for a number of years. Um, we've used, like I say, we've used uh, Mitoway Quick Strips and other things. Honey has a lot of oxalic acid naturally present in it, so we're not adding anything like formic acid or thyme um, to the hive. That we're, we're, we're not putting something in there that's not already there, let's say that. If you like what we're doing, and you can get in contact with us through uh, Facebook. Um, we have Kiwi Bees Beekeeping Naturally. If you want to support us, you actually get stuff, coffee cups, um, and that will just help feed the addiction with the bees. So let us know how you're getting on. If you have any questions, yeah, we're here to answer. That's what it's about. Like I say to people when I'm talking about this, this is very open source. So there's no, if you find a better way of doing it, let us know. Uh, the overboard, 
I find is really good. It's very similar to the commercially available Lewin cap, which still hasn't come to New Zealand yet. Uh, and yeah, it works. So have a play. Get together, buy some rolls, and yep, yeah, make some up. Okay, uh, you'll catch us on Facebook or YouTube. See you later.